hostile environment. A lot of the German players, and this, the team is full of internationals as well, Ghanaians, Bosnians, Yugoslavians, Austrians, Brazilians as well. They want to play to the top level as well, but uh, there's nothing like it when you're on the eve of a, of a very important match. And both teams dropped out of the, of the Champions League as well, and they'll be keen for their supporters and for their club to progress further in this competition. 50,000 at Ibrox always generate a huge crowd, whether you're in the main stand as we are, away to our right-hand side at the Copeland Road, the Broomlone Road, which, of course, so often has the Celtic fans filling its capacity for the old firm derby. A tremendous atmosphere again here tonight. Rangers have a history of playing against German sides in 39 meetings. They've First opening of the match so far. Pibmar looks for a Marto. Sold short, but he gets a benefit of a good challenge in there by Newman. Looks for Wallace. Oh, could be an own goal! It is an own goal! And Rangers are ahead! 17 minutes gone, and the first experience of Jurgen Kohler. Not enough to keep Glasgow Rangers out. They're one nil up with an own goal by the hugely experienced German international, a World Cup winner. Cup winners medals, league winners, but look at that, an own goal. Well, he shouldn't feel too bad about it. I've scored on goals in that net as well at, at, the, at the same ground, and uh, I don't think it was the best of balls by Amato. The ball skips up. He has to try and make contact because it was going through to Wallace. Try to divert it for a corner, and the ball just trickled into the net. Here's the ball again, just inside. It sits up, skids off the wet pitch. Lehman, no chance really because he... ...for Dortmund. Muller deep on that left-hand side. Range is going to make a substitution. Right on the half-time whistle, Jonathan Johansson's going to come on for them. Now Amato. Well, this is interesting, Terry. Right on the stroke of half-time, this. Yeah, well, I think you can possibly just see uh, Gabriel Amato just limping a little bit. He's not moving very freely, so possibly it might be because he is injured, but... Uh, we can't quite see the official's board. He's got it down by the sidelines. Rangers just playing the ball out here. He's virtually on a stroke of half-time. We've got about a minute to go, I think, before the, the half-time whistle blows. So it's a, it's a curious decision, but I think Amato is, is possibly the one that might be coming off through injury. Well, we're entering stoppage time any second now. It will be Amato who will be coming off for Rangers, and Johansson will be coming on. This is Van Bronckhorst to Newman. Good combination down the left-hand side. We're in stoppage time. Wallace back to Newman. Looks for Wallace again. There's the run in here from Albert. It's the hammer. No, pulls it back to Rodney Wallace. Oh, what a goal by Rangers. Magnificent stuff. Absolutely brilliant. And whatever you do when you're playing against the German scene, don't spare the rod. Give him the bird when you get the chance. And Rob Wallace has just done that. He's caned them at the back. 2-0 to Rangers. What a fantastic goal that was. It came from Rangers deep inside their pitch. A lovely final ball by Newman on his right foot. Everybody thought Albert was going to smash it. Squares it. There's Wallace. Cool as you like. And I must say, they've got Pat Nevin back in the studio. That was very similar to his match winner against Hearts the other night. And uh, cool play once more. Cool play by Albert. And frighteningly cool play by Wallace. 2-0 right on the stroke of half-time. Johansson's coming on now. Just seeing that goal again. Look at this angle. Pat Nevin will... will, will he would have clock back and it seems like it's been a hell of a long night hasn't it it's the two goals that have been Rangers downfall in the end hasn't it yeah they're the bad mark in the first goal um, you know it's an awful goal you know Bronkhorst was should have been picking him up there he's just gone for the first header with Craig Moore and uh, left him for spare and the second goal it was just a big pile up in there the goalkeepers took a swing it's I gone mean, it was to, lucky wasn't it yeah. it's gone to Bovic and uh, he's easy to hit in the back of the net and he's missed kicked at the goalkeeper and it's just fouled to the they're both it, but, uh, you know, to be fair to them, uh, they put a lot of pressure on first half. Second half, I felt Rangers had done enough to uh, to win the game. But uh, now it's all about nerves, who's got the best nerves? And uh... Rangers drew 2-2 here on their last visit. A certain Paul Gascoigne got sent off in that match. And Rangers just grab a vital away goal. Cleared as far as Newman. Ferguson's made a run forward. Vidmar! Oh, how did they miss? How did that one stay out? Neil McCann doesn't know, and I'm not sure I do either. 
Well, they've tried to play offside here, and he wasn't it. Vidmar, cross comes short. Oh, how good. did he miss that? I mean, that is a let off for both teams there. Vidmar has played the ball across, and there's two Rangers players there. McCann and Ferguson, either one of them could have put it away. Less, just like Bobic could have at the other end a minute or so ago. And both teams have had opportunities to take the lead. Drifting their way into the centre circle now. These spot picks taking place in front of the vast majority of the Borussia Dortmund fans. Bit of a wait here for Freddy Bobic. This won't do his nerve any good. Myra, can he prove to be a hero, an on loan hero for Rangers? Another hold up because again all the players aren't inside the centre circle. The reason now there's a hold up is because some of the Borussia Dortmund players had their training anoraks on. And the referee wants them stripped in their match day garb. This is very unfair for Bobic, isn't it, Joe? Well, it's the last thing he wanted was have to, that extra delay. Bobic against Myra. To Belter. Yeah, it was a good penalty. The fact that you, you brought up there is 100% correct. The last thing a player wants is to go up and stand in front of that goalkeeper and for it to be delayed and delayed. But he showed a lot of character there, as well as placing that ball right in the corner, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. Good start for Borussia Dortmund. Listen to the boos as Lorenzo Amoruso takes the next spot kick. Oh, it's a very well hit spot kick, and he can laugh. Well, I don't know if it's uh, an advantage or a disadvantage, but uh, the penalties are getting taken into the predominantly Borussia Dortmund end, whereas the Rangers fans are at the far end. Looking to make a save here from Nihus. Again, he went the wrong way. You get the impression that the Germans have been practicing these. I think as Graham said, you can practice as much as you want. Practice the same makes perfect, but you've got to have the composure and the ball to take them. This is where it matters, you can take them 10 out of 10 in the training field. When I want to get down to it, it's in front of these, these fans, you've got to show it. Van Bronckhorst next. Oh, it's a save by Lehman. He was going the wrong way, and he produces a marvellous stop. Heartbreak for Rangers. This is a great save, Joe. Well, Lehman's going, yeah, he's going here, but it's... He's hitting it more central, a good height for Lehman to get. Previous penalties have been down in the corner. Bovic has been up high, but right in the corner with a lot of pace. Myra needs a save here. He's done it! He's denied Nerlinger. That was a good save, Gary. I mean, that one's been put in a corner. Maybe not with the, the same pace that Bovic put in the opposite corner. But Meyer, ah, he's, he's certainly uh, earned his score in there. Now, if Arthur Newman can uh, put this spot kick in, we're back at 2-2. Can Rangers gain parity here? He saved it again! It's still 2-1. And now both Van Bronckhorst and Newman have failed to score from the spot. Well, Lehman has guessed 
the right direction. Well, that's a great save again. Maybe a, a, a decent height for him, but you can't take away from the goalkeeper. This could be a crucial spot kick now for Barbarez at 3 1. Borussia Dortmund would be all but there. Barbarez against Myra. It is 3 1. Unfortunately for Mari, gets his fingertips to it, but at a height it makes it very difficult. Little Claudio Reyna has to score. He has to score this spot kick. He saved it, and Borussia Dortmund are through to the last 60. All that practice taking penalties has paid off, and not for the first time in the history of football, the Germans prevail via a penalty shootout.